Hello everyone, um, Leader here. I just wanted to talk about my future with League of Legends and kind of the future of the channel and where we are going. So let me just start off by saying I've been pretty busy the past year. I'm in my fourth year of school right now, so obviously a lot more work. And um, I've also been the uh, head coach of McMaster University, which is a very big achievement for me. Um, coaching is something that I've always been interested in and my father was a basketball coach for a really long time, so I always looked up to him in that sense to uh, uh, want to be a coach myself one day. So this opportunity came across, and I couldn't pass it up, so that has been taking a lot of time out of streaming and content creation. But I want to talk about the future now, which is um, me pursuing a career in Japan for the LJL. So my current course of action is to move to Japan tomorrow, actually. I will be leaving tomorrow and I arrive on the 7th, and I want to do a six month long Japanese League of Legends bootcamp where I'll hopefully be able to participate on the Korean server as well, if uh, fate allows me to. <laughs> so I just want to give you a breakdown of what my schedule is going to be looking like. Um, it's going to be the most intense and packed streaming schedule slash content creation schedule I've ever tried to tackle. Um, but ultimately, my life goal right now is to become a professional League of Legends player. And the only way for me to do that is by putting in the work and setting this six-month time to fully dedicate myself to my craft and without any distractions. So this is exactly what I'll be doing. I'm going to be boot camping, and this is generally what my week-by-week -week schedule is going to be looking like. I have sorted out each week. Um, with different homeworks to do and different uh, reviews to do and different e, uh, champions to explore for a practice tool to get a better understanding of how each champion interacts and um, try to just learn as much as I can about the game within the next six months. Uh, I believe I can pull this off and truly be the best player in Japan. And that is the current goal, is to be the rank one player in Japan. Um, I want to incorporate workouts, diet, um, lots of content creation, as you can see, anything in red. So I want to do a vlog every week, um, do a pro VOD review, and then do a LJL VOD review so I can start learning more about the Japanese pro scene and get an upper hand once I start playing pro there. Um, I want to do a VOD uh, where I do commentary, educational commentary while I'm playing. I think that's really important for new players and players that are trying to improve, and I want to provide that to you guys. Um, and another thing I want to do is self VOD review along with a coaching VOD potentially. So we're looking at anywhere between five to six videos a week. Um, this is going to be my full time occupation, I'm not doing anything else. So no excuses for me to be lazy about this. Um, I hope you're excited to follow me on this new chapter. As you can see, I put a lot of work into how I want to schedule myself and my time. Um, this is my champion information for 2020. Um, pretty much Rumble Silas were the only two champions I believe that are S tier for me at the moment. Um, I've put in a lot of practice into other champions um, throughout the year. That's all I focused on while uh, I wasn't streaming Rumble solo queue. <laughs> I was playing all sorts of other champions. And I believe for 2021, I can have my champion pool look somewhere along the lines of this where I have about six champions that I can play very consistently in a challenger level, and then a big list of champions after that that I can still continue to improve upon, but they are high skill enough for me to kind of implement them in my games, if that makes sense. Um, here are my objectives for this coming year. I want to make the 2021 LJL scanning grounds, because I missed the 2021. That was happened a few months ago. Or maybe a month ago now. Um, NA Challenger, when I uh, come back from my six-month Japan trip, I would like to claim my NA Challenger again. Uh, JP Challenger, um, honestly, rank one. That's the goal. Uh, I, if I'm allowed to play on Korean server, I'd love to get Masters Plus there. If I have the opportunity, absolutely would love that. Um, and since I'll be streaming a lot, I think I can maybe even go for a Twitch partner if uh, people actually enjoy the content that I'm pushing out. I think it'll be very different content than what we've seen on this channel in the past, and I believe that there should be a lot of interest in 
uh, following the career of someone who's trying to go pro in Japan. Uh, I think no one else has really tried to do that. And I believe I'm the first NA person that's also Japanese that's actually able to be not an import in Japan and really do some damage as、uh, someone who hasn't been practicing on Japan server and got to play on a little bit of a bigger server for the past few years, which is a big advantage compared to a lot of the Japanese people.、Um, I'll be exploring some Wild Rift, maybe. I think that's a pretty fun and exciting game. Maybe not too much, but just you know, get an understanding of it. Uh, Japan vlogs are coming, maybe potentially AMAs and daily streams for sure.、Um, my practice tool training every morning, which you saw earlier in the schedule,、um, I'm going to be doing each champion twice over the six months. So every day, practice tool for 45 minutes as my warm up. And these are kind of the drills that I'll be running mostly. Maybe I'll switch it up once in a while. Obviously, the schedule is not concrete. I'm going to be making tons of changes to the schedule as I learn more about myself as a player and.、Uh, See how much I can pull off, you know, realistically.、Uh, so the schedule is, you know, going to be adjusted for sure.、Um, these are all the LJL games I'm going to be reviewing. And I started doing some research on dieting and sort of、uh, hand and wrist exercises to make sure I never get carpal tunnel or anything like that.、Um, I want to start taking care of my body and my mind、uh, a lot over the next six months and see if I can use that to excel my game even further.、Um, I think it's something that a lot of pros sleep on. and... I plan to take full advantage of that.、Um, so, the last few, maybe close to a year and a half, two years now, I haven't been producing that much content, but I've been studying the game harder than I ever have before. So, just quick examples.、Uh, here's like a, a big note sheet that I made on the Samsung Galaxy Worlds run. So, I looked at every single game they played at Worlds and took notes for it. As you can see, Did a lot of studying. <laughs> Did the same with IG. Gonna do the same with FPX and with、uh, Damon Gaming as well when I get the opportunity to in Japan. That'll be on the list of things to do. And I hope to、uh, share the knowledge that I gain by studying all these VODs and uh, hopefully、um, improve not only myself but my community as well.、Um, that's pretty much all I really got to say.、Uh, Japan, I'm. Very much looking forward to. This is my first vlog I've ever done, so、uh, hopefully, many more to come. And I look forward to seeing what the future has in store for me. I believe that if I can make LJL and be one of the best, if not the best, mid laner in the region, there is opportunities for me to make worlds plans and prove to the world that I can play at、uh, an LCS level. And that's very. Seems very far away right now, but it'll be one step at a time, starting with this boot camp. So I hope you follow me on my journey. Thank you. Looking forward to it.